Today we're going to be looking at a power probe, temperature probe. It's a wireless one. And that's the specs right there. Does not come with batteries. I put batteries on it already. So we're going to get it out of the box. We're going to get the power probe. Here's the uh, instructions. You guys are going to read it, all the specs and everything. The sensor right here can transmit temperature readings up to 16 feet away. Right there. And warranty stuff. the power probe right here to turn it on you just click on that right there and off and I'll show you the batteries to the lace and then you just slide that in there snap it in and then this right here comes out of there you just slide it up you can see the little square right there line it up and then slide it down and then this one takes two triple A's right there and then to, to replace them you just push that back and then take that off and put your batteries in and to put it back in you just line it up like that and then clip it in then it's got a switch right here to turn it on and off and right there is on and then we can turn this thing on and it's going to give you the temperature it's got a little light right there the house that's this right here it's got a temperature sensor right there so that's going to be this right here and the temperature over here this is your sensor and you can add another one as you can see you have for another one you can have two of them and to switch between them two, this will be your sensor. Just push on that. And since I don't have another one, it's not gonna show anything, but it's looking for the other one right now. And then you can change your Fahrenheit to a different Celsius if you want it. And I'll set it up on a car so you guys can see the temperature readings and how it reads and everything. So right here I have it set up. You can just take this this one off and then this little clip you can clip it in here into the vent. And I have it turned on and everything. And then I'm gonna turn the uh, the air on. And I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can read the same reading. the temperature on that side So I switched the vents right here to the vents right here. So now we can see the temperature change. And you can see that the, the home is written different because that's not in the vent and the sensor is inside the vent. So I'm going to start lowering, and lowering the temperature now. Seventy-two. Let's see if it's gonna read it. It 
just come down slowly. again let's do 79 as you can see now it's reading higher and I guess if you couldn't if you don't have one of these and you have a meter one of these that can read temperature I got a crash one right now I know flukes have it some of the flukes have it so you just have your adapter over here and take it off. So the right here. And actually right there it gives you the temperature setting right there. And all you do is plug it in and it tells you positive and negative. So you just do your positive and negative, plug it in. And it's just a little sensor. And then you just put it inside the vent. And we could compare it to the other one. So maybe the power probe is a little more accurate than this one. I'll put it on the same place, just so in the same spot. And this one's running just fine and my meter's going lower now for some reason. The, the sensor on the end. So I'm just going to clip it right in front of the power probe. See if I get a better, better reading. So I'm reading 120 with this one. And then this one's climbing up a little bit. And you can read both of them Fahrenheit and Celsius in case you needed it. So you just change like that and then like that. But yeah, you could use one of these, a meter, or one of these, whatever works. It could also be just my wire right here. There could be damage or something because I'm getting 116 and it was jumping to like 120. See that? Could be my connection right here that's messing it up. But yeah, they're, I guess, if it was working fine, they're pretty close to each other. But yeah, you can use your meter or buy a power probe, which I think th this one's better because you can take it outside through a toolbox and then just have the car running and you can see it outside. And it also tells you the battery life and everything. And then once you get your clip in there right, it holds in there just fine. As you can see, that's the, the little clip in there. You just open it up. And you can swivel this down if you need it to, to go like that. Or 
grow up. And we'll just put it in there. And I'll check one more time with this one, see if I get a different reading. And I think it's way easier if you use this right here because if you're checking AC or you don't have the heat is not working right or something like that, it's a nice tool to have just to check it real quick. But like I say, if you have a meter and a sensor that actually works better than this one, you could use that too. 